Number 32, calculate the mole fraction of each solute and solvent. And then we have a letter D. So in this case, we have 25 grams of I2 that's in 125 grams of ethanol, which is C2H5OH. So from this information, we have to calculate the mole fraction. Now, they want the mole fraction of the solute and the solvent. Now, just know that the solute is usually the smaller amount of substance, generally a solid, that is placed into a solvent. And the solvent is the liquid media that you have. And once you place that, you know, the solid into that liquid, together, they make a solution. Now, in this case, we have 25 grams of I2, which is placed in the ethanol. And we have a smaller amount here, right? We have 25 grams versus 125. But since they said that I2 was in the ethanol, we know that the I2 is the solute and the ethanol is the solvent. And when they come together, when you place the I2 in the ethanol, it becomes a solution. So we just have to find the mole fraction, which is this formula right here. A mole fraction is basically just any other fraction, right? A fraction is always a part divided by a whole. Now this X is the general unit or variable for a mole fraction. So if you're solving for a mole fraction, you're solving for X. And you can only take one compound at a time. So we have to find the mole fraction for I2 and do it again for the C2H5OH. But in each case, you'll take the moles of that compound and divide it by the total number of moles in the whole entire solution. Moles, moles, moles. Grams, grams. Yikes. In order to answer this problem, we need moles. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to take the 25 grams of I2 and convert it into moles of I2. The same thing with the ethanol, right? We have the 125 grams of the C2H5OH, but in order to find the mole fraction, we need to just convert that into moles of C2H5OH. Well, how do I go from grams to moles? Back to all the way in the beginning of Gen Chem, right? Grams of one substance to moles of another substance. If you want to go from grams to moles, all you have to do is just divide by the molar mass. The molar mass is always found on the periodic table. So in this case, you have two iodines. So I'm going to times two by what iodine is on my periodic table, which is 126 point, uh, 126.9. Two times... 126.9, and I get a molar mass of 253.8. So I'm going to take my 23 grams and divide it by 253.8. So 25 divided by 253.8. And I get 0 0.0985 moles of I2. Let's do the same for the ethanol, C2H5OH. I got two carbons, so I have to times that by 12.01. I have a total of six hydrogens, five plus the one. So six times 1.008. And then I'm just going to add the lonely oxygen, which is 16. So two times 12.01 plus six times 1.008 plus 16. And I get 14.068. So I have to take the 125 and divide it by 46.068. 125, oh boy. 125 divided by 46.068. I swear you can make you can make songs, but just numbers, right? And we get 2.713. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Cracking myself up today. What can I say? Oh my goodness. Okay, we're just going to keep going. But, um, so we're on our way to calculate the mole fraction, and we have the moles of the individual components, but now I still need to find those total moles. Well, 
we'll just take these two values and do what with them? Yeah, we'll just add them together. Those are the only two components of my solution. So if I add them up, that's going to get me the total moles. So 0 0.0985 plus the 2.713. And I get 2.8115. 2 and that's the total moles. So now we're ready to rock and roll. Let's do, I guess we could do it over here, x and x. I'm just trying to set this up for you guys. So we know that this is going to be equal to some type of fraction. And we'll do the I2 on the top and the ethanol on the bottom, C2H5OH. Okay, so for the ethanol, it's the moles of that compound, so it's the 0 0.0985 divided by the total moles, which is 2.8115. And then for the moles of the ethanol, those moles were 2.713 divided by the total of 2.8115. Let's set up the answer here. So I get x and x, these are going to equal something, i2, and the c2, h5oh, okay, that's good enough. So, 0 0.0985 divided by 2.815, right, everything looks good, there we go. And I get 0 0.035, and then we'll do the other one, 2.713 divided by 2.8115. And I get 0 0.964, technically if I round it it's a 5, no units for mole fraction, it's just a fraction, so the unit mole cancels out with the unit mole on the top and the bottom, and you're just left with the number. Now, if we did this correctly, um, what we should be able to do is add these two numbers up, and your answer should be very, 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 very close to 1, because if you add all your components up in fractions, the total fraction is always going to equal 1. And there it is! So... That is the final answer for your two mole fractions. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more problems. Uh, tons of problems on this channel just to help you guys learn at your own pace. I'm here with you every step of the way um, from mole fractions, similarity to molality, uh, which is coming up later in the chapter. Uh, rate laws, kinetics, equilibrium, stoichiometry, everything under the sun. So it's all for you guys. So use it. Thank you so much. Thanks for being part of the community. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, bye-bye.